to know again we know that you get 166 units left to go uh, to be built and then another uh, 44 to be occupied that are already built we want to know what the mix is because we already have an idea from the school department as to what the impact so far has been they say about I, 10? I haven't heard an official number yet yeah it's a 10 so far is it 10 people notified so far it's 10 I believe the superintendent said maybe it was a meeting you weren't there. Uh, the it, it was. Uh, I wasn't there. Right. But then, the uh, then I inquired again and I didn't get oh, a superintendent confirmation. I got so informed us that there were uh, ten. ten so far. Mm -hmm. And the estimate for the uh, 28. 28. I believe, right? So that's another good reason to find out how many, ones, how many, right. how many right. two bedroom apartments are left. Two the threes. There's a few threes. There's a few threes in there. No threes. No, three no threes. threes. Okay, ones and twos, right? There's 59 percent of them are one bedroom. Correct. Yeah. And the balance of twos. Anyway, that's good news that uh, they have Correct. rented is because uh, I thought it got off to a slow start, but they're probably way ahead of the plan. What surprised if there's no further questions on that item, I'd like to move on to number six. There is uh, a, a client, dear client letter in your packet from Copeland Lane Cage. It involves uh, trenches, trench safety excavations. And the, um, the summary is that town council is writing to inform uh, North Reading <coughs> that new trench safety regulations will be enacted by state law beginning on January 1, 2009. Uh, regulations are applicable to all cities and towns across the state, but they provide that um, town officials will be responsible for issuing permits on both public and private property with our, our trench excavations that take place. Uh, trench excavations is defined in the statute. It's a fairly narrow description. A foundation would not be a trench excavation, and nor would an in-ground swimming pool be a trench excavation pretty much limited to uh, installation of utilities. However, um, in, in the opinion from council, uh, recommend that adoption of a town bylaw, which designates the local permit granting authority and also defines the applicable regulations that the town will enact in the interest of providing for public safety. Um, therefore, I would expect that there'll be a warrant article which will be ready for inclusion and presentation to the board concerning the October a question regarding definition of a trench. If someone was putting in a sprinkler system, they have a little trenching tool that goes down and digs a trench uh, six inches or no. eight or nine inches deep. Is that? No. 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 It's, 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 a, a, it's a mathematical formula uh, where the gap the and the width. There's, okay. a, there's a relationship between the depth of the and the depth of the yep. trench. Okay. So there, there is a good definition. Yeah. Yeah. But it, but it will force um, a number of, this is really a way to ensure that contractors, private contractors, comply with these new rules and regulations. Right. So uh, those people will need to come to town hall effective January of 2009 to secure permits. And and permit will be fee-based. Correct, yeah. because there will be an administrative cost of establishing and running the program. Now, is there a qualified inspector in town, or is this another training program? Well, we um, basically we're not responsible for inspecting private trenches, but what we are responsible is for permitting and addressing complaints that would be coming in. So the town doesn't have a responsibility under the law to actually inspect those trenches oh, and inspect okay. the work that's on the question I had. You can see it's an opportunity for, for people to see it, but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was that another revenue enhancement program for the towns. We get to charge a fee, but we're not going to check up on it. Anyway. Um, it, it, it's it's basically bizarre. what it is, is is the contractors have to come in and they have to um, certify that they understand the, the ocean laws concerning trench excavations. They also have to provide certificates of insurance that indicate that they have adequate insurance coverage and um, that they certify and they understand that comply with all rules and regulations. That's the purpose of the law, and that's the purpose of the permitting aspect of it. Um, obviously, again, if there's a complaint, then the town's compelled to go out and do an inspection. But absent a complaint, the town's authority ends with, with pro 
processing that application. Well, my reading of it is they're not required to inspect, but you could. Correct? Did I misread it? If, if we so desire, it was my impression that based upon a complaint that we'd be compelled to inspect. But I, I agree with that. Compelled, but yeah. I would agree. I would agree that once you have a complaint, you must or shall go out. Right. But I don't think there's anything that prevents one from, from, from inspecting. Would it, be the, would it be the town engineer that would be have the expertise? Well, that was my question. Is is there additional training required, or? Well, we need we need to obviously work these things through. This is um, although the the law was passed a number of years ago, the regulations were just recently enacted. We probably need to catch up on what the regulations are. Um, it's not unusual to have the state pass a law and then not figure out how to implement it for a couple of years. Like no, no, no. That's typically how it's, how it's done, is they, they pass the law and then they figure out for a couple of years later how to do it. In this case, how to do it is to say the city's a town to responsible. Hmm? But the, the, the um, issue of um, the, any regulations the town has or the town's responsibility, I would anticipate that that would be defined as part of our discussion leading up to <coughs> the conclusion of the log article for October 10th. Okay, next. Next is um, on the second page. We've received an estimate of uh, additional energy costs in the form of fuel and fuel charges. We would anticipate with the current uh, fiscal year our fiscal year for those who are watching at home is through June 30th of 2009. When we put our budgets together for fiscal year 2009, we were um, <coughs> frankly very conservative in terms of budgeting increases for fuel and utilities that we really didn't have a good understanding of. So we made some um, conservative budget proposals and we've gone back and we revisited those assumptions and, and come back with the following that we would need approximately $150,000 to be added to the uh, fuel and utility reserve account, which is under the control of the finance committee. It would need to be voted at the October town meeting. And what we would have is sufficient funding uh, for the town departments totaling $46,000, approximately $46,000. And then the remaining balance would be uh, the school department to possibly provide the fuel and utilities to the school. The assumptions that I used and I've given you some of the backup data in terms of where come from. The, the uh, projected increase in motor vehicle fuel from the time that we put our budgets in place. Uh, for the remainder of the fiscal year, we would anticipate a uh, 25% increase, and we're pretty close to that 25% increase as we stand here today. But that's an amount that we feel comfortable with. We projected an increase in electricity with 10%. And then um, we heat our buildings with natural gas, and we're estimated an increase of natural gas costs of 20%. You can see all of the, the costs that flow from that. The total that I had originally come up with was 155075 uh, This was presented to the Finance Committee last week. The Finance Committee indicated that they would support a fuel and energy reserve account in the amount of $150,000. So we had planned on an increase in natural gas on the budget, right? Uh, we planned a very modest increase in, in our natural gas. Well, does that, I, I heard something on the radio today about <coughs> difference between last year and this year for natural gas was going to be about 30%. Is this 20, because then we buy it on a contract. We, we buy our gas, which is why we haven't pushed it to the maximum we have a discounted mm -hmm. amount <coughs> You see that we, um, our budget for FY08 was 85,000. We're anticipating that the fiscal year um, 2009 budget would be um, increased that by an additional $18,937. And again, all of the, um, the details in terms of how we came up with these 
estimates are included here, and if you care to go through the information that's been furnished by the U.S. Department of Labor Bureau of Labor Statistics, I think you'll find that you know, we're speculating. We have no idea what gas prices are going to be six months from now, or what even the prices are yet. We'll do the best we possibly can. But the good news is this account will be under the control of the Finance Committee, and um, if we were to be running low, we'll have to justify our request to the Finance Committee. We did this. We did a similar thing. Not last, two not this ago. year, but the year before. Two years ago. And, and it worked out well. So the funding of this is going to come out of available free cash that we'll be uh, spending in October. The estimate of free cash is exclusive of very center cash. Is how much <coughs> great? I would not publicly commit to a free cash. Mm -hmm. The very center money is one point seven million. Yeah, yeah that's very yeah. exclusive of it. But we don't have a handle on the other number yet. No, we we have to do the the out balance sheet calculation. Which we need pretty soon because we've got to get it filed to get a free cash certified for before October time. Is that on schedule? It is. But at least it is sufficient amount for peers to cover this amount anyway. Um, we, we hope so. And certainly um, we would consider this to be high priority <coughs> in terms of funding. But this along with our snow deficit. That we're carrying forward from uh, fiscal year 08 are obviously high priorities. We also have an outstanding commitment uh, and a small cap for the schools and town that we postponed until October town meeting. We'll keep our fingers crossed that we cash them to recover. Okay. Number eight is. Go back to my report. Um, I'm announcing that uh, Faye Ingraham has been appointed as the town committee assessor manager. This is our staff position in the assessor's office. And in some communities, it's known as the, uh, the chief or the head assessor. Uh, Faye was previously appointed in an active capacity while we advertised and posted the permanent position. So we went ahead, we posted, we advertised, we interviewed. Um, as a result of those interviews, uh, Faye was identified as being the, the best candidate. Um, and we've agreed that um, she'll be working 20 hours a week. Um, that's a change because uh, previously the assessor position had been uh, working 35 hours a week. So we will achieve some cost savings of going, to, going from a 35 hour week to 20 hour week. Um, but she does have the experience. She has the certifications. Uh, one of the things that you're required to have in terms of being an assessor, you have to have your MKA uh, certifications. They're required by the Department of Revenue. And there's not a strong pool of these people that are out there. So we feel like we have the right person. And I'm pleased, although we have our, our only a 20 hour week basis, I'm pleased with the amount of work we'll get done in that office. And she'll do a great job. If I could, Bob. Yes. I, I, I guess just a question, Mr. Bellicones. Is that going to be enough hours for her to do the job thoroughly, though? Yes, it is. Because I know all the other assessors always seem very busy, <laughs> and they were here for the full week. Okay, okay. No, I'm not not arguing against it. I'm just, I just hope it's giving her enough hours. To she has um, enough experience and work. Oh, I know Faye. Faye's, Faye's, Faye's excellent. Faye is excellent. Additionally, though, we had uh, talked and concerned about uh, not uh, properly taxing uh, our uh, personal property and things like that and that it was may have been due to lack of resources Is this well the proposal was to bring in another full-time position into that department to do that that turned out to be not such a good idea it didn't, it didn't happen Well, I guess we didn't have a high degree of confidence that um, those personal property taxes would be 